It's gonna be crazy, probably, isn't it? It's definitely gonna be crazy. Are you as excited as I am? No, nobody's excited this year. I think I see one. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll let you direct him. Yeah, I'll let Dad do the directing. Pretty big investment we've got in them, to be honest with you. So I knew it was imperative to get everything done and do it right before they got there. As Bill and Margaret Fuller deliver the new animals from Texas, the Wolf Pack has been busy preparing for the momentous event, constructing a special enclosure where the animals will be housed. Oh, oh my gosh. goodness. Anytime we're like waiting for a new animal to arrive, I'm always really excited. Something I never thought that I'd even see, much as we'd own. Oh, they're laying down and they're so cute. Back up. OK. Hello. I always know not to underestimate any animal. They're very powerful. You know, they could definitely do a lot of damage. What are they doing? Are they mating? Uh, hey, Gaby. What are you doing? If he's doing that, I think he might what want you to leave him the heck alone. I think he likes me. Get back up, man. These things are enormous. So, like, prehistoric and majestic. It's just like, wow. He's tried it. Looks, he looks like he wants to come out. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come here. Hold still. Don't freak him out. There we go. Good hey, boy. Big boy. Holy dog Good mess. Day. Goodness gracious. Good boy. Whoa. Good my boy. There you go, buddy. I wanted ostriches for a simple reason. They're going to make money before the cattle or the horses do, from their eggs to their oil to their feathers to everything about them. There is no downside to an ostrich. Do they fly? No, yeah. Thank the Lord, they don't fly. I remember when Dad first said that he's buying some ostriches. I was like, good joke. But no, he's, he's serious. We, we have ostriches. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. I'm just going to stay over here. Come on, it's time to go to your home. Gaby, what are you doing? Ostriches are pretty scary, and it's really nerve wracking to have people just like touching them and going into the trailer with them. Come on, come on, let's go. It's okay. Walk out, Gaby, she'll walk out with you. Gaby, she kicks that way, <laughs> I think. He's got her, he's got her, babe. Wrangling an ostrich. So, Bill, how was it? Oh, it's tough. Is this one of the craziest things he's ever had you do? Oh, my God, yes. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> I thought so. Without a doubt. <laughs> I thought so. We got a surprise for y'all. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Dang. Is that an ostrich egg? I'm hoping that with two females and the one male, you know, the ostrich is going to give us an actual small income. Because the whole point to the ranch is to have whatever you have in front of you, it feeds itself and gives you a little bit extra for you. I think they might make us more money for the ranch than anything we've got right now. Oh, my gosh, yes. We should have like 50 or 60 eggs by the summer. It means that everything we do, we have to do more the next day. It's going so fast that I'm afraid it's going to get to a point where it is really going to be hard to keep up with it. But I'm loving every minute of it. They've had a long road. Pull him up. You got it water and feed out there? I will. I feeds out there, I'll get water. The ranch isn't stopping at cows, you know? This is going to be a big working ranch. And if Dad says we should go with ostriches, I said let's go with ostriches, and they look really cool. Happy okay. ostriches. <laughs> He's a beautiful bird. Boy, he is. OK, guys, I'm just going to sit in my bed and make this. So if you have any tips, just yell it at me. Eager to soothe the anxious ostriches, Snowbird devises a unique way to bond and communicate with the new arrivals. Gabe and I were actually touring with a couple names for the ostriches. We were wanting to call one of the girls uh, Southern Belle, and then the other one Seymour Legs. If I just take my time, I think I'll definitely be able to win their trust. I think it's looking pretty good. How's it look, guys? This is an ostrich headdress. It's just to, uh, to help me communicate with the, the ostriches, to make them feel comfortable around me. You know, it makes me like kind of look like them, smell a little bit more like them, and just let them know I'm okay. Hi, Seymour Legs. Hi, you. You like my headband? Oh, you like it? Thank you very much. Thank you. As soon as I put this headdress on, it's just like a whole new world of ostrich just opened up to me. I don't know, it's like there's some kind of like ostrich magic in the headdress. You're a friendly one, Seymour. I think you and I are gonna be BFFs. 
Well, actually, Seymour, could you put in a good word for me with the other guys? Yeah, tell her. That's right. Did you hear it, Southern Belle? Yeah, I'm nice. I always try and interact with the animals as much as possible. I want to let them know that this is your new home. I'm your new best friend. You know, you're safe here. I have food. We're nice. As the wolf pack works to keep up with the ever-expanding ranch, Gabe and Bird try to help the new ostriches settle in. I think I figured out what noise they make. I guess that there's a lot that goes into ostrich reproducing. They won't just lay their eggs anywhere. They need a safe nest to do it in. So Bird and I got like little ostrich beds. Hey, guys. We're building you some beds, yeah, so you can lay little ostriches. You know, if the ostrich business is going to work out, we have to be able to care for them. And that means more than just, like, throwing in some food. Like, we have to be able to get in there. I think the colors I'm wearing, they think I'm like a double-headed ostrich. One approach you can take with any animal is pretend like you're one of them. So I'm practicing this. Come on over. Your bed's almost made. It is? Why, yes, it is. In order to build the ostriches a bed, the Browns dig a six by six hole, which they will cover with over 200 pounds of sand. He's posturing. Just dig this side, what he eats. These ostriches are actually really cool, but they're also really dangerous. She behind me? Don't let her kick me. I understand now they can kill a lion with a kick, and I'm probably not as strong as a lion, so I really don't want to get kicked by one, so we're really having to watch what we're doing. They're cute, I know, but still, just look at the size of those drum legs. Definitely on guard. OK, do you think it's good to fill with some sand? Here comes the sand man. Get ready for nap time. I want to gain their trust so they don't hurt me, and so they're comfortable. You pour off spread. Sounds good. <sighs> We got your bedding. I feel like we're an ostrich hotel. <laughs> kind of are. We're like an ostrich bed and breakfast. Oh, speaking of breakfast, I can hardly wait till they lay another egg. They're so big. I'm just thinking of all the different ways I'm going to eat them. Ostriches, their job's laying eggs right now. And if they can't do that, they really have no place on the range. So we're all hoping that they work out. <sighs> yeah, if I were an ostrich, I would sleep here and lay an egg. Stress, 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 stress. I'm lost. I'm lost.